Okay, uh, today's tutorial is going to be on using uh, the program file to learn about your partitions. Um, a lot of you may be familiar with the program file, like so. Uh, file basically gives you information on files. So actually let me uh, move into my temp directory here. I've got some images here. Let me see, I think I've got some PNGs. Okay, so here are some PNGs. Obviously, I know they're PNGs, but uh, we can uh, type in file and then the name of the file, and it'll tell you that it's a PNG. It gives you the resolution, uh, tells you, uh, you know, about just information on the file. And we'll do the same for most file types. So even if you don't have the extension on the end, let's say, um, let's say I move that file, system icon PNG to just icon uh, with no extension, I should be able to use file and then give it the file name and even though we don't have the extension we can tell what type of file it is this is great when you're trying to recover files or for in a lot of different scenarios just trying to get information on a file um, and it's not just images any type of file that it's familiar with it should be able to get you information on um, but I've recently found out that it can also tell you information about your hard drive partitions so uh, let me uh, move into my uh, device folder, so my dev folder, and I'm going to list out here all my SD, so uh, these will be all my hard drives, which right now I only have one hard drive in, but if I had a, a flash drive or an SD card or uh, uh, multiple hard drives within my uh, computer, they would all be listed here now. Uh, and you can see SDA is my first hard drive, and then the partitions I have are uh, 1, 2, 3, and 5. Now, I could mount those, and I could uh, find out information about them, and I believe I've done tutorials and other tools to find out information about them. File is a nice tool that's installed on pretty much every Linux system that you're going to come across. It's, it's basic. On a basic install, it should be there. And uh, you have to be root to be able to read these uh, partitions, but if we do sudo file, which is our command, and then dash s, and then uh, we'll say sda1 for my first partition, it's going to ask for my password since I'm using sudo. Uh, type in my password properly. And it tells you here that this is a Linux ext4 file system. It tells me the UUID, which is, uh, you know, if I had given a, a label name to that, I believe that would show up there. Um, and then it just tells you a little bit of information about that that partition. Now, we can obviously do the same thing for other partitions, so let me try like 5 here, which is my swap partition. Uh, it tells you that it's a Linux swap partition. Uh, it just gives you some, there's no label for this one, unlike uh, this one which had a randomly generated, oh, I guess UUI, UUID and label are different. Forgive me about saying that wrong. So. Um, now, let's say you wanted to check multiple tar partitions. You could uh, do something like this. I can do uh, a brace expansion. I can just start saying uh, like this, oops, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, obviously, I don't have that many partitions. We already know I don't have that many partitions, so we'll get errors on the ones that don't exist. But here you can see SDA1, and it gives the information on that. SDA2 and 3, there is no 4, so we can error, no such directory. Same for 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now here we're just listing out numbers. If you've watched my tutorial on Brace Expansion, and if I remember, maybe I'll put a link, an annotation to that video in here, we could do 1 dot dot 9, or where we want to start, basically it will replace this with all numbers from 1 to 9, or whatever numbers I input. So I could hit enter on that, and we get the same output as we did before, putting in all the numbers. It's a little bit shorter way to write it. Um, let's say I, I just want to see those first three. I can go dot dot three, so we'll do one through three. So basically we're saying sudo. We've got to be uh, either sudo or root. Uh, we're in the program file with the option of s. We're checking the hard drive sda, and then we're checking the partitions one through three. And there we go. Real quick, we'll check out the man file, which will give us more information uh, on the program file, so man file. And if we do forward slash dash s in space, I can jump down here. I'm going to go to the second place. Okay, so here it shows us exactly what we just uh, did, and it gives us example output. Uh, I love um, 
man files to give example file uh, examples of the commands. It makes things very clear. Not all man files do that. This one does. So definitely, you know, read up on file. You can learn a lot more about it just by looking through the man file. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Uh, if you like my tutorials, be sure to subscribe. If you uh, like the content of certain videos, be sure to like them so I know what people like. Um, definitely seems like uh, my shell tutorials are probably my most uh, popular tutorials, so definitely going to be doing a lot more on those. And I just thank you once again for watching and hope that you have a great day.